Here we've got a lovely kit for making earrings. Lots of different styles can be achieved with this kit because you've got all these lovely um, different types of ear hooks. So we've got our shepherd hooks, which we're, we're quite used to and make really great earrings, really quick and easy to use. And everybody knows how to wear those. And then we've got these lovely long wires, a more sleek and elegant look. So with those, I've set some of the Labradorite that's in this kit with some 0.4 wire and I've just set them down the edge just to give a bit more sparkle. So you can do that um, with those wires. And then we've got the hoop wires, which are brilliant. Um, again, really easy to wear, um, really versatile as well. So you could do lots of techniques with these. These I've added three different dangles. I've used some 0.4 wire again to get that elongation there and to pop the Labradorite on as well. So that's that style. And then again, I've added some 0.4 wire to create these with a little sort of halo of the Labradorite above the drops. Really lovely and fun to make. And then I've got these and these utilize these lovely um, Swarovski crystals. They're flat backed and they're generally designed for sewing because they've got this flattened eye area at the tip. But what that allows us to do is really um, set our findings in and allow them to sit nice and flat uh, and our findings just sort of nestle into those spaces. So I'm going to show you how to create these earrings and set these drops using the head pins that are in the kit. So first off we need one of one of our lovely one of our lovely um, Swarovski crystals and we're going to also need a head pin. Okay, so we're going to just pop our head pin through like this. So we need to pop it through and you see how that little ball just sits really nicely into the space in the crystal. So we're gonna pop that in there. I'm gonna pull really firmly against the crystal and then pull the wire down like that. And then we're gonna take our flat nose pliers and just pop a little kink in the wire, which is going to create a bit of a neck area where we can wrap the wire around. And then we're just going to kink that off to the side, like so. And then we're going to choose one of our drops. And we're going to thread that onto the head pin. And we want to think about the distance from where the drill hole is to the tip and just a little bit beyond. And then sort of translate that onto the wire. So you can see we need about a centimeter, just under a centimeter of wire to help go across the top of that gemstone. So just about where I think that is, I'm just gonna pop my pliers and I'm gonna bend that wire like so, so that we know that the gemstone will just sit and I'll have enough space for it to be framed when we pull the other wire up to match. So that's gonna sit there. And then we're going to pull the other wire up and across, forming like a triangular bail and let that cross over. You can see how that then creates that space for the, for the little stone to sit, for the drop to sit and have a bit of room to move as well. So once we've got that to cross over, we're going to hold that nice and firmly in place. So to do that, I would probably use my flat nose pliers to just hold across where they cross over like that and then take the wire around to get yourself in the right position. I would usually bring this a bit closer to me to do this because I'm trying to keep it in the camera for you to see. Um, we'll hold it across like this and then we we'll just take that wire and wrap it around that little neck that we put in. So it's that little area between where the head pin, the ball of the head pin is, and where the start of the sort of loop that holds holds the gemstone on is. We just wrap that around to fill that, that neck space. And once we've got that filled and we're happy, we can then turn it over and trim off that wire as close to the wraps as you can get. And if you've got a little sticky itty bit, you just get your pliers and just pinch that in so that it sits snugly. You can see I've got a little bit of a kink on there, so all I would do is just take my pliers and just flatten that out. 
Okay, so there's our gemstone attached to our lovely Swarovski crystal. And then all we need to do is attach a shepherd hook. So I'm going to take the shepherd hook loop at the bottom. Generally the join is at the back, so on this side. And then hold it, hold onto it and just twist it open. Like you would a jump ring. So instead of pulling it open, you twist it open. Pop the sparkly side on first. And then take your flat nose pliers and twist it back closed. And that's it. You've got one of your earrings made. And you just repeat to create the other one. Lovely simple demo. Shows how to use those top drill drops as well. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Happy making. Bye.